This question is meant to be rhetorical, perhaps funny. Okay, well, there's a few good things in this, uh, in this question. Number one, she says, I haven't studied my chart per your instructions. Excellent, I think that's wonderful. I recently had someone write to me who they wanted to take the apprenticeship course and they asked for my birth information. Um, and um, Emily wrote back and said, well, Ryan only gives us birth information to his astrologer and he recommends that everyone else only give their birth information to the astrologer that they're working with. And he doesn't necessarily recommend that you try to figure out your own chart unless you've been studying it for quite a few years, studying astrology for quite a few years. And the point behind that is what? Um, well, number one, do you go around giving your social security number, your birth date, and your bank account number to anyone who asks? No, because that is specific to your accountant, to your banker, to your investment manager. Um, same thing with astrology. Why is it that we don't necessarily, or should we not go ahead and run around giving all of our birth information to Anyone that asks, well, you don't know how they're going to interpret your chart. You have no idea what their training is. You have no idea um, how they're going to look at that chart and what they're going to figure out from it. Um, but my experience has been, it's not that, it's that people who say they're going to figure out their chart, figure out your chart, they have all these thumb rules that aren't put together very well. And they come up with all these ideas that just aren't true. Or, you know, they'll look at a chart and they won't be able to look at uh, the full picture of the chart. And so again, they come up with things that just aren't necessarily true. And I see that happen all the time. So this is the main reason why I don't necessarily recommend randomly giving away your information because you know this, hopefully, if not, the more you practice astrology, you will start to understand it. Um, people are suggestible. Why? Because they want to have something to believe in. They want to have something outside of themselves to validate anything about them. People like to have um, their ego validated, even if it's wrong. <laughs> so what happens when you don't know what you're doing with astrology and someone gives you their information and you start rallying off all kinds of stuff, rather than the individual stopping and scratching their head and saying, yeah, that doesn't really seem true. So it's probably not. This person probably doesn't know what they're talking about. They start wondering, well, maybe that is true. Maybe I really do have that problem. And then what happens is they start looking for it, they start creating the problem. So there's a whole host of reasons why one should not go around giving um, birth information to anyone that asks. Um, and there's another reason why you shouldn't study your own chart until you've had many, many years of analysis because what you're going to do is you're not going to be able to look at it objectively and you're going to start seeing all these possibilities and you're not going to have the sense to realize that in order for this possibility to occur, you have to have these five other things. You're just going to fixate on that thing that you're afraid of. Your fear drives you generally. And then what happens is you start creating these five other things to make it happen. Um, so we're not going to go into the psychology of all that, but this is generally what happens. Um, so that's why don't study your own chart until you have numerous experience studying other people's chart. You can see things more objectively. Don't give away your birth information to just anyone that asks for these reasons that we've listed. And it's always fun to go to uh, astrology gatherings when there's all kinds of astrologers. And astrologers everywhere love saying, well, this is my birth information. Um, and can I have yours? And you say, no. <laughs> And it's always that classic moment. You know, I always wish I had a, a camera um, to just videotape that moment when you say no to an astrologer and they look at you and they're like, what, what do you mean no? Everyone gives me their birth information. Anyway, you can have some fun with that. <laughs>